Hi, everyone. I'm the first thing to, to say is that I'm really glad to be here with all of you. Uh, since the last conference, uh, some people here, I have the opportunity to, to meet and drink some beers. <laughs> uh, after the, the Carlos presentation, I, I think that what I will show to you is a, a small piece, but I think that is a, a time-saving uh, feature that can help our daily development. So, uh, for several times in groups, I had seen people uh, asking about uh, a better way to do print formats and window customization. So, in a short way about me, my name is Murilo, I'm from Brazil, uh, I'm co-founder of DevCoff, we are implementer of BR ERP, that is our product based on IDMPR. Uh, we have an own uh, localization project. Uh, we sell BR ERP as a cloud platform, so our users don't touch code, just access the system and use. Uh, we are operating in all Brazilian states. We have uh, large companies that is using our ERP. And that's it. Let's say about IDMPR. Um, the first thing I want to show you is the tab editor. Uh, some of us, I think, that remember how was difficult to create the windows when we need to put the X and Y positions. Now we have this since the 1.0 version of IDMPR. And that is the real magic. We just added some more options here. And on day by day of our developers, uh, this increases the productivity. As we can he see here, now we can edit on the, the, vis the visual editor the description of the, the, the field, put some comments, the placeholder that Carlos showed. Uh, here is a, a real trick. When we are creating a, a display logic or mandatory logic, uh, sometimes we need to close the editor or check the database, and now no more. We can copy the, the column here and use it below. That is really, really simple. Using the same editor, we enable to use it on window customization. Uh, by this way, our advanced users can create window customization using a, a visual editor. But one trick here is uh, on window customization, we don't have the field group in, in core IDMPR. And so some fields, uh, when are in a field group in a window, we cannot join other fields uh, using the... the, the Window customization. We need to remove in dictionary and then let the user use the window customization. Now we can set the field group on window customization. And with the tab editor available here, we can open and do a customization in a visual way. Uh, it's the same form, the same code, just with some conditions to check if users are logged on system or on client. When saves, the, the, the record goes to field customization table. Uh, this improves a lot uh, the usability for our advanced users because uh, they can see what, are they, what they are uh, customizing. These are available at our public repository. Uh, we have a, a ticket on IDMPR tracker, and you can check it there now. The main developer of this feature is Jonatas. Uh, he's a, a, a member of our team. I'm just in presenting. I, I speak, they do. <laughs> um, related to that, we have uh, another important feature that is the entity type identification. Uh, when we are receiving 
uh, support requests from clients that have a lot of customization on two levels, dictionary and window customization, it's difficult to know what we are doing for him. Example, we have some optional plugins. We have client customization. And at the end, we have user customization. How can our support team say, oh, yes, I know what you are, you are talking to me. I can help you. We created in quick context uh, two small informations that says the entity type of the field. And this is taken to the help, as you can see here. For every tab, for every field, for every, every process parameter, for every thing in the dictionary. And here, when we have a, a user customization or window customization, we have two uh, asterisks. <coughs> here, just to, to know this is customized. This is also available in our, oh, no, sorry, this is uh, in a patch on Jira, and that's it. And the last one, really quick, <laughs> and the print format editor. This is, I think I better show you. Oops. Uh, everybody here is think that he already created a print format and see how it's difficult. It's a, a powerful system, but difficult to, to understand how to, to position the fields and create the, the, the elements. Uh, we created a tool that lets we see what we are editing. And so we can create some new fields here and define in a visual manner here the position. in a visual manner. Uh, we are working on it to do uh, drag and drop features and more complete uh, features to, to help uh, not experience the users to create your own print formats. But for now, uh, it is working about six months. Uh, and people are, are liking a lot. We have a, a big list of uh, new features to implement, and I want your help to, to finish that uh, in, in, in both editors, uh, in window customization editor, in print format editor. The idea to show this here is to uh, ask your help on improve and create a, a final tool. Uh, in, in, in this time, it's part of the core, okay. because we need to do changes in some classes that we cannot uh, inject as plugin. Yeah, for, for, for everything, uh, for, for the three uh, functionalities, uh, I created the tickets on Jira. I have feature branches on, on Big Debug, the public, and they are synced with the full branch of IDMPR. The, the last branch, because uh, we have three functionalities uh, almost done, but uh, needing some uh, turning. And so I think that help of community is important at this place. And yeah, I, I, here I, I can sure I think it's not so good. I let some screenshots here, uh, a really complex print format that we made with this tool for some people. And 
here are some discussions about the print format editor. Again, the ticket and source code. And that's it. Uh, it's a really, really quick <laughs> demonstration. Uh, if you, some, someone has any question, I'm available. Does the report editor allow uh, uh, table reports and formula reports? Both? Yeah, no, uh, it's only for form reports, not table. Uh, a table just uh, when master detail, uh, when it's included, like a uh, sales order here. Here we have a table of order. Let me show. Uh, no, the table we need to, to configure it in, in the, the window. So you are not using uh, uh, Jasper, Jasper for you? For? Uh, are you using Jasper uh, We use a lot Jasper, but uh, we are trying to, to give users more flexibility yeah. and remove Jasper. Uh, remove is uh, yes, with Jasper, just saying. Yeah. Frequently some <laughs> and some uh, because uh, we have um, about the 80 clients. And every client needs some different modification on uh, sales invoice or, or sales order. And on Jasper, it's difficult because we do not do access to the source code to the client. We just... Yeah, exactly. For, for, for the end, oops. I think that something went wrong. I have another question. It's in your preview when you are uh, editing this one. Uh -huh. You are assuming that you are rendering with the PDF format, right? Yes. Okay. So whatever is for a spreadsheet, CSV, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. no. The, 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 the idea here is to show the PDF format, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, more for forms. Good. And I think that's it. It's a really short. <laughs> it's time for Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Alan. <laughs>